Alright, so here in front of you, Glock 19. This is has been my carry weapon for the past two years. Well, a year and a half, I'll say. I've been carrying it consistently for about a year and a half. Glock 19, as you can see, it's always on duty. A whole bunch of pocket lint all over. At first, when I got this, I lived in Florida. I currently live in Colorado, so there is no open carry in Florida. You can only conceal. So this is what I used to conceal this pistol. This is an Uncle Mike's hol hol inside the waistband holster. It's terrible. There's no retention on this, and the inside's a little bit too sli slick. So. Although it fits the gun pretty well, if you take off running, it's going to just slide right out. Not okay. So, I made do with it. I carried it for probably around eight months or so, something like that, six months in Florida, concealed with that holster. Then I moved to Colorado. I knew I was moving to Colorado and I knew there was an open carry law, so or open carry was legal so I bought an outside the waistband pancake style holster this is a Cobra gun skin which apparently I don't know how factual it is but apparently this is what NYPD uh, is issued and if that's true they get issued a pretty great holster because I've been I used this for about a year carrying outside the waistband concealed and open mostly concealed. I, can, I conceal probably 90% of the time. I'll carry open mostly just when we're going out up in the mountains to shoot or I'm just going to the gas station or something so, small like that. Generally I'm concealed. Uh, so this is what I would carry it in. Just like you see it. Well, except this guy would be in it. Um, now, back in November, I ordered a new holster for this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a really big fan of Kydex. I have a Kydex outside the waistband for my FMP 45 Tactical, which is light bearing. Uh, that's got a TLR1S on it. And I've wanted one of these for quite a while. So, I finally got a really good deal on this. I got this for 100 bucks, brand new. And this is the 170 lumen version of the Surefire X300 and this is how I carry it now I carry in a Kydex this is an OD green and black this is an Armadillo concealment holster this is a Surefire X300 Glock 19 holster for the weapon you just saw uh, this is how I carry it about half of the time. The other half of the time I'll carry outside the waistband, which as anyone that knows anything about these kind of Kydex pancakes, just unscrew these and put your normal belt loops on the inside of it. Um, this is a remarkable holster. I would suggest this to absolutely anyone. I got this for $90, as you see it. These were extra, they're like $5 or something. <coughs> and their lead time was, I think, four, 46 business days, I think they said. And I got it. Sorry, I had a glitch there. I was saying it. They were telling me 46 business days, and I actually got it in about four weeks. And it has been on me pretty much every day ever since. I got the high cut sweat guard because I can still get an entire grip on this gun as well as being able to eject the magazine. So completely happy with it. See?